What's up, readers? I got another one for you. The Neuroscience of Selling. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't have a sales job. I don't care about sales books. Shut up. This is still good for you. <laughs> um, but I will say, if you're not in sales, this one might be a little bit lower on your list, but there's still a lot of really cool information in here that can be helpful in your everyday life. If you are in sales, though, listen up. This is a great book for you. I would imagine, let's see, it was $17. I would bet you, I'll bet you $17 that if you buy this book and you read this book and you pick one thing out of it and just put it into practice in your everyday sales job, uh, you'll definitely make back your $17 and then some. And that's a bold statement from a man that did not write this book. But I found a chock full of information that I had never heard of and I've been in sales for 10 years. Um, just minor things that, there's some things that I definitely was well aware of, but the vast majority of it was based in science that I have not read. Um, and it made me realize that uh, there's a lot more to this career that I have yet to figure out. And that's why we do this. That's why we read um, and find books that are gonna help us to grow. That's the whole point of the Reading for Growth Guild. Um, reading things that are gonna help us grow as people. And that can be a lot of different things. You know, I'm in sales, so I'm reading a sales book. But if you're somebody that's really into a specific hobby or a trade, there's probably books out there that will help you with that hobby or help you with that trade and give you information that you probably didn't realize was out there. Um, I know nowadays with YouTube and TikTok and all, there's, there's tons of information out there and you can get it in video form. But for me, I remember it when I read it. It sinks in when I read it. And this book, I would highly recommend that you read it all the way through and then let it sit around for a little bit and go back to it from now and then and dive into the chapters that really um, pertain to you. Or if you're weak at something, um, you can go back and kind of drill back in so that that stuff sticks. Uh, for me, there's a great chapter in here about closing the sale that gives you a lot of different principles to follow um, and reasons why. And I think that that is what is really important is understanding why we do what we do. Um, and that's why a sales book rooted in psychology and neuroscience is important to have because we're at the end of the day, we're just dealing with people and we're people. And if we can understand them better, we can serve them better. And if you can serve them better, you're going to, you're going to sell more. And it's just, it's really that simple, but definitely check this book out. If you're in sales, um, I highly recommend it. Um, I don't know if I want to do number ratings on here or not, but oh, do I do it? All right, 8 out of 10.